Hello there and welcome to episode 5 of the Cool Beans television show. My friends, family and loved ones call me Chris Arnold. And I'm... Imposter Jim. You're not the real Jim. You're an imposter. I know, that's why I said I'm Imposter Jim. Well, what have you done with the real Jim? Oh, he won't be found. <laughs> Coming up on the show today... Extreme challenges. The return of Ham Pocket. An interview and live session with the Hot Souls. And some other stuff. <laughs> Today on the show we're asking the question, what is art? Well, what is art? Is this 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 art? Is it? Is this art? Hi, I'm Donald Chump. And I'm Max Triple X. And this is Extreme Challenges. Extreme. Today's extreme challenge, we're gonna find this lost cat. Extreme! Percy. Meow. Meow. Okay, we can't find the cat. We need a new challenge. Today's new extreme challenge, world's longest conga line. What's the current record, Max Triple X? Four. Are you sure? Yes. Great. been stood here for five minutes now. Let's go. Wait. We need more people. Ow. Much better. Will Anybody? Anybody? Do you want to join our conga line? Yeah, I'm all right. Will Will this conga line? I'd rather f a horse. World's longest conga line attempt. Yeah. You're right! Yes! We equaled the world record, and I think I found another for my butt. Great work, Max Triple X. Woo! Wait a minute. Four isn't the world record, and this isn't even a world record book. Max Triple X! You dingo! Hey you, relax. It's time for Peace Lily of the Week. Yeah. This week's Peace Lily is Peace Lily in B minor. <laughs> Hey you, relax. It's time for Peace Lily of the Week. Yeah. Imposter Jim, do you want to come watch my favourite band with me, Ham Pocket? They're doing a matinee performance around the corner. I'd rather eat my own intestine while it's still in me. <laughs> I was only asking. I'd rather make love to a bed of thorns. Oh, fine, you don't have to come, you don't have to come. I'd rather sunpaper my own eyeballs. Alright, fine, fine, I won't go either. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. It's a fine line between love and crime. If I get arrested, baby, I'll do the time. Cause it's a fine line between love and crime. It's hard to tell, baby, give me a sign. Thank you, we've been hand pockets. Hey you guys, come over here. Here they are, the future of rock and roll. You boys hungry? Do you want some pasta? Yeah. You guys are gonna make it big, but you gotta make a few changes. Pasta, denim hot pants? Who wears them? You're not Daisy Jokes, for Christ's sake. Secondly, you gotta change your sound. You gotta make hooks that the girls will love. Thirdly, you gotta change your names. Your Trey, your Corey, and your Trey. Fourth, you gotta get a drummer. All the best bands have drummers. Simon and Garfunkel, the Oscar Peterson trio, Cher. But we don't know any drummers. What about that guy? Free house, think I'm gonna free I call 
this weekend Turns out I can't drive I crashed my daddy's car this weekend Doctors say I'm lucky to be alive The new Hand Pocket single has been reviewed online. Ah. The biggest pile of codswallop I have ever had the misfortune of hearing. Seriously, who let these guys near a recording studio? Their guitar player in particular makes me want to throw up in my mouth. Reviewed by Imposter Jim. <laughs> Time for a break. Dinner for one, one glass of wine. One lonely heart, one lonely soul. Yet another night in front of the TV, alone. Sound familiar? Do you struggle to find people with the same interests? Why don't you try FurryDating.com? FurryDating.com is a one-stop shop to find someone to share your life with. Just simply fill in the detailed, extensive personality analysis test to be paired with one of our many users and find your perfect match. You'll be paired up in no time at all and then let the love grow. Finally, someone with the same interests, hobbies, Likes. FurryDating.com. Guaranteed to find love straight away or your money back. Finally, it's time for your happy ending. Hello there and welcome back to the Cool Beans television show. And if I'm completely honest, I don't think that I fully trust my co-host this week. For starters, he's called Imposter Jim. I mean, is Imposter Jim even your real name? Uh, it is. I can prove it. Oh, I've got my birth certificate. I'm not convinced. Tell me something only the real Imposter Jim would know. Uh, well, there is one thing. The real Jim is tied up and locked in my bathroom back home. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it! Uh, you'll never catch me. You won't get away with this imposter, Jim. Well, I will, with the help of my new accomplice, Imposter Imposter Jim. <laughs> hey you guys, it's Corey here from Ham Pocket. Remember me? I guess after the smash hit single, Daddy's Car, the money just kind of dried up, so I'm stuck here back at my mom and dad's place, which totally sucks. I had to make some money back, so I started getting into the whole world of video blogging. I know a lot of you guys will also recognize me from my super awesome Bagel Blog. Bagel Blog. Bagel Blog. Bagel Blog. Bagel Blog. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about something totally new, hot, radical. It is called a cup of tea. So the first thing you need is a cup. This thing is called a tea bag. We put it in the cup. This is a kettle. If you don't know what it is, you have to ask your mom. It heats up the water to be super hot when you pour it in there. Can you hear that? Can you see how awesome that is? Some people like to do things differently at this point. Milk, sugar, comes in a bag that they put in a bowl. Personally, 
I'm gonna put the milk in first. It cools it down and it's kind of good for you, I guess. See that? You hear that? Stirring is like turning it around and around and around. And I saw them do this thing. I don't know what that is. Some people like to put a bit of sugar. I like to be pretty sweet. And that's it. I get rid of the sugar. I don't need the tea bags. I just want a cup of tea. Hi, I'm Reese Witherspoon, and I like to watch the Cool Beans television show with a spoon. On the news tonight, a factory specialised in German sausages has exploded. Local authorities are telling people to expect the worst. <laughs> and now here's the weather with Big Barry. <laughs> <laughs> It's Big Barry here with weather. It's getting a bit nest these days, so make sure you don't leave home underprepared. Bring your radiators. Oh, what a lovely view it is from here. And here. And here and all. I just can't believe it. Me and Barry, we used to be such good friends, and I had it made. I were a star. Oh, Autumn, it's my favorite time of the year. I knew everything about weather. I had a weather app. I really like the change. Changing weather, changing colour, changing weatherman. You don't even like pigeons. Barry! <laughs> Oi, Barry! You stole me up at pub, now you're stolen my job. I thought we were friends. <laughs> I'm sorry, Batty. I thought we were friends. I didn't mean it. I were tending me pigeons, honest. Oh, I hate you, Barry. I hate your pigeons and all. You stole my job. A caseworker said I should apply. I we're going to be a millionaire. Thanks very much to Big Bassy and Big Barry there. Hopefully soon they'll resolve their problems. But enough about them, it's time for our next special guest, the Hot Souls! Woo! Yep! <laughs> yeah! Lads. And lasses. The Hot Souls. How are you guys doing? Real good. Real, Real good. good. Yeah. Too good. Where do you get your name from? Is it your love of battered fish or walking on fire? It comes from uh, our favourite uh, bit in the Indiana Jones film, The Temple of Doom. Oh yeah? Yeah, when he stops the minecart with his uh, with his feet. Right. Could, could be that, could be that. It could be that. Oh. It, could be that. it is yeah. that. It is that. It yeah. is that, yeah. Right. What can we expect at a Hot Souls gig? Backflips? Water cannons? It's just a one-stop shop for vibe, yeah. you know? If you don't like one stop shop vibe, you know, sorry. What are you guys doing when the doors are closed, the blinds are shut, and no one's watching? I think when I get in, you know, you know, and I just kick back with some samba. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, sometimes on a rare occasion, bossa nova, mainly samba. I like yeah. a nice uh, cream scone. Tell me about the man in Rotherham with five hats. Legendary character. Um, used to uh, walk around uh, patrol, some people might even say, uh, the Rotherham market. I think Richard knows him better than, knows him better than me. I don't like to talk about it though. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Bad yeah. encounters with the man yep, with five hats. Yep, yep. Hated my grandma's dog. Yep. That's a true story. Yeah. That is a true story. Get back. Now, how do you guys feel about the singer, George Michael? Life is a long and winding road. Mm. Sometimes you're in the lights and sometimes you go down a, you know, a very dark path. I think he's come back into the light now. Yeah, yeah. yeah so do I. I've got faith anyway, so. <laughs> now you're gonna do your track, Ready to Burn for us, live in the studio. What's it about? Two and a half minutes.